stop if you want your next video to sound good enough for Netflix. This is a secret most video editors skip, and it's not a plugin. But none of this matters, and this won't work unless your edit is picture locked. That means no more changes to the cuts, VFX, or speed ramps. All your timing is placed and ready to go. Final music, voiceover, and synced production audio are all placed. All the key audio moments and pre-captured event sounds and production audio that you want are included. And then your sound effects and sound design are layered like perfect nachos. So the more, the better. It also helps to organize these in layers, dialogue, music, and effects. But it's not done yet. Duplicate your sequence for safety. Delete everything that's not the video you want this on. So the timeline is only the video you want this hack to work on. Next, go to the file, export AAF. Make sure embedded audio is selected. This keeps all your dialogue edits, and layering intact for this final step. Before that, export the video in the same sequence, so to line up perfectly with the audio you're about to export. And if you want to go pro, burn in the timecode, maybe add a two-pop at the beginning, so everything will for sure line up. So now, zip those files together and send them to me or your favorite post-audio engineer so they can add all the sound design you missed and do the final mix so the video hits as hard as it should. If you follow these steps exactly, your mixer can make magic. Skip it, and you're paying for the back-and-forth edits that no one wants. Save this to beef up your workflow and share it with your next collaborator.